All right, now it's a classic case of a clash of science versus faith and tradition. The battleground this time round is a dormant volcano on the big island of Hawaii. A giant telescope which can peek into the secrets of the universe has been sanctioned to be constructed at the top of this dormant volcano. But the native Hawaiians are opposing this telescope tooth and nail. What is the reason behind these protests? Take a look at this report. The Mauna Kea volcano is witnessing an emergency, not because the dormant volcano is waking up, but because hundreds upon hundreds of native Hawaiians are descending onto the island to protect a stretch of land which they believe is sacred. When measured from its underwater base, the Mauna Kea on the big island is the tallest mountain in the world, dwarfing even Mount Everest. This gives it a vantage point that scientists want to use. In 2009, it was decided that the world's biggest telescope will be built here. It will stand 30 meters high above the volcano. Designed by research institutes from the United States, China, Russia, India, Canada and Japan, the telescope has a budget of over $1.4 billion. And when complete, the telescope will provide images of deep space, 12 times sharper than the Hubble. Native Hawaiians aren't impressed though. For them, this is desecration of their holy land. The TMT up on the Mauna, you know, the Hawaiians have been quiet, not quiet. We've expressed ourselves for generations, and it's always dismissed, or oh, progress is more important, or science discovery somewhere else. And Hawaiians are still homeless on the beach. They're still struggling academically in the schools. They're still struggling with work. And that is something that has happened since plantations came. So what do we have to do? We have to go ahead and stand and be arrested. Hundreds of native Hawaiians have camped themselves at the bottom of the mountain. They have clashed with the police, scores were arrested and later released. For the natives, it is a fight for their identity and faith. For the scientists, it's the best place to view the night sky. The Mauna Kea is the ideal location for a giant telescope due to the near absence of light pollution. You know, we've been working in the community for over 10 years now, and we have a lot of support here. Uh, you know, it may not seem like that sometimes on social media in the last couple of weeks, but we have people reaching out to us all the time who have been with us from the beginning, advising us and being partners, and they're asking us to stay. After the legal tangles, the construction was to begin by the 15th of July. But the protesters are adamant, and they've enlisted some top-notch support. Hollywood superstar Dwayne The Rock Johnson visited the site and pledged his support to the native Hawaiians. The world is watching and the world is saying we should take a pause. And this is where care and decency and love and respect for not only culture but for humanity really comes into play. The protest over the 30-meter telescope has thrown up the old dilemma. In the conflict between science and faith, what really should take precedence? In almost every scenario, it is science which should prevail. But as the Hawaiian protests highlight, sometimes the solution is not a simple one. Bureau Report, we on, World is One.